No one will blame you if you miss some of the game releases in this action-packed 2020. With over 1,200 games hitting the eShop this calendar year, there was a lot to see but also a lot to skip over. In this video, I want to highlight just 12 games you might have missed that are worth a second look. While there was a new Paper Mario release this year, you simply can't overlook Buck Fables The Everlasting Sapling, an adventure RPG following three heroes embarking on an epic quest of treasures and immortality, bringing all the fan-favorite tropes and mechanics that made the Paper Mario series beloved on top of its unique look. This game's lush story and engaging characters make a standout on its own and well worth a potential sequel. Revisit the depths of Rapture and salt through the skies of Columbia once again in Bioshock Collection. A standout, dare I say, masterclass port on the Switch, bringing over Bioshock 1 and 2 and Infinite, all running at native resolution and 30 frames per second, telling an immersive trio of stories that captivated the hearts and minds of gamers during the 360 and PlayStation 3 era. Not to be outdone, Koei Tecmo and Gus brought over a collection of their own with the Atelier Dust Trilogy Deluxe Pack. Bundling Atelier Raisha, The Alchemist of Dusk DX, Atelier Eskan Lagi, Alchemist of Dusk Sky DX, and Atelier Shali, Alchemist of Dusk C DX. These DX remasters add in a brand new run feature, a speed up tempo mode for battles, and includes all the previously available DLC for each one of the games, making this an amazing bang for your buck type of purchase. The 2D retro inspired action RPG CrossCode combines the 16 bit look and feel of classic SNES games with fast paced combat, engaging puzzle mechanics, and an amazing sci fi story. When it originally released back on Steam, the developers were inundated with requests to bring it over to the Switch, and when they did so this past summer, the base game was expanded with even more quests, more enemy types, and even more expansive map than ever before. Kirby Fighters 2 is the most overlooked first party Nintendo title this year and for all the wrong reasons. Taking the original 3DS game's premise and expanding on it in just about every way possible, it offers more fighters, more stages, more modes, and more hectic versus combat than any other Kirby spin-off. While the single player story has you taken on King Diddy and Meta Knight, the local versus and even online multiplayer is ready to give your Joy-Cons a bit of a workout. Nexamon Extinction is a return to classic monster catching games with a completely new story, over 300 Nexamon exclusive to this title, and a full sized game that's easily won my surprising Game of the Year award in 2020. While the original launch on mobile, this console entry shines with a smart but funny story. All the mendings of a monster taming RPG and a level of dedication by the developers who have been adding and patching to it non stop since its original launch. Demo is by far one of the best rhythm games on the Nintendo Switch, but if you were to aim any criticism towards it, is that it doesn't have anything resembling a story mode. The new entry, Demo Reborn, aims to fix that with the tale of a young girl stuck in a mysterious castle and a tree that grows whenever melodies fill the air, giving players the option to focus on playing the traditional rhythm gameplay and enjoy over 60 songs or tackle the story and help her find her way back home. Moro Crystal Age is a dungeon crawling RPG and a direct sequel to Moro Chronicles, an edgy dungeon crawler that's all about finding and helping monster girls achieve their ultimate goal, while maybe dressing them up in rather skimpy outfits. What this game lacks in subtlety, it makes up with rock solid turn based RPG combat and tried and true mechanics perfect for anyone looking for a solid dungeon crawler with some comedy on the side. Hit the road in war-torn America to bring your delicious creations to the masses and cook serve delicious 3, a sequel to one of the best cooking sims we've seen in recent years. While not reinventing itself too much, enjoy a single player story that can be played in full co-op and decorate your food trucks to your heart's content. Then take on over 300 levels tailor made to test your skills and sometimes your patience. A new group has replaced game industry CPU seemingly overnight and Neptune is nowhere to be seen when the three other goddesses are in dire need of her help in Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, a turn-based 3D RPG and the first official Neptune mainline game with a Nintendo console. Link up character attacks to break enemy parts, find a way to rescue the other goddesses, and bring the group back together to save industry once more, and a wacky hijinks tell familiar to fans of the series. Brigandine The Legend of Renersia is a tactical strategy RPG where many kingdoms are fighting for resources but only the clever and cunning will be able to achieve victory. Choose your side and try to conquer the map by forming alliances and betraying those closest to you. Newcomers will be treated to an even enhanced version of the game as the developers have launched a massive set of updates improving on the game's criticisms from back the original launch, 
making this an even easier recommendation than ever before. Sheeran the Wanderer, The Tower of Fortune, and The Dice of Fate is the latest installment in the storied franchise where Viva, the god of destiny, still holds sway over the past, present, and the future. In a classic roguelike mystery dungeon fashion, defeat foes and bring yourself ever closer to befelling a god in a gorgeous 2D pixel art game with tons of quality of life improvements that will be sure to make fans of this genre extremely happy. And there you have it, 12 games that came out this year on Switch that you should probably give a second look. This is my third consecutive year that I've done these type of videos, and I love hearing people discover new games that they might have completely overlooked. If you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!